One, two, three. Ah. Sometimes I wonder if doctors know what a caregiver goes through. If they know that it is such a challenge from morning till night, I do as a caregiver what I would do as a mother. I'm being asked to take care of him in a way that I've never had to take care of another adult. I have to talk to the doctor, talk to the doctor's nurse, talk to the lawyer, talk to the pharmacist. All these daily things and there's, there's no rest except at night when I stop answering the phone. With all of the changes in medication that the caregiver has to deal with, with all of the letters, the correspondence, the caregiver walks away with the hapless patient. That's it. Nothing is given in terms of what's coming down the pike. The problem is you start taking care of someone's mom and dad and brother and sister, too, all of a sudden it's not just one patient you're dealing with. It's like five people's problems you're dealing with. And you can't just prescribe them a medication and say, get better. I feel like you're going to create a lot more work. For doctors, nurses, to them, it's a job. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not selling something. You're dealing with people's lives. Residency is difficult. There's no question about that. One on-call shift is about 30 hours. Follow my finger. Overall, what we're trying to do is improve people's quality of life, but it's easy to forget that when you're running from room to room and you're operating on a few patients a day and you're staying up late and you don't even get to see your family. I feel the doctor should be encouraging so that the caregiver has hope and they can do their job better if they have a positive attitude. We have families and we have lives before this happened, and we need some hope. It's a terminal disease. If you have a glioblastoma, um, that tumor, complications from that tumor, will cause your death. When I hear the doctor say it's definitely going to grow back, I say, oh no, 95% it's going to grow back. Tony's a 5%er. And I don't want to say to her that I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. The danger to us in not fully processing for each patient and their family exactly what's happening to them in terms of life and death is that you forget how important it is to each patient. I never thought I needed help from anybody. Now I guess I'm going to need some help.